Do you think people of color can be racist? No, because racism equates to superiority. And in the United States, people of color are not superior because of the things that are placed to keep us marginalized. Huh? And white people, you can't be racist against white people because they've had privilege their entire lives. Anybody could be racist, right? Except for me. I'm the least racist person that you've ever met, okay? Do you think people of color can be racist? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. No. Yeah, I don't think so, no. Well, yeah, we can be racist to each other. Uh, no, I don't think people of color can be racist. Everybody is a little bit racist. I would know that because I used to be racist. I was, I'm a former liberal, right? I grew up with this racist mentality, especially within the black community. It's prevalent within the black community. Do you think people of color can be racist? No, because racism equates to superiority. And in the United States, people of color are not superior because of the things that are placed to keep us marginalized. I don't think you can, I mean, the only person they'd be racist against would be white people, right? And white people, you can't be racist against white people because they've had privilege their entire lives. We would tear down the white community, tearing down for the color of their skin. I mean, it pisses us off when white people do it, but when black people be racist to black people, it's somewhat funny. We can make each other laugh in our type of racism. We can call each other the specific names you can't, and we'd be fine with it. I think that racism and- That doesn't even make, what? What? Did you just say we can say we can call each other the same names that you can't call us and we'll be okay with it? So we can call each other the N-word. That's basically what you're saying. We can call each other the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Make jokes about slavery. Make jokes about the hard ER. But when you say it, it's not a joke no more. It's not funny no more because we don't know your morals behind of you saying, like, bro, what? It doesn't even make sense. If, I feel like if I can say a word to each other, if I don't feel no type of way if a black person say it to me, why do I feel some type of way when a white person say it to me? Man, if, I could, uh, you know what, let's just finish. In itself is a misleading word because it implies that the discrimination is solely based off of a person's race, whereas racism is actually based on sort of systematic oppression. So the people with the most power are the ones who have the influence to create the oppression. I don't think people of color can be racist. We can be prejudiced. But we can't be racist because there's no such thing as like, you know, especially in the United States right now, as black people or colored people or whoever, you know, having positions of power. Bro, do you not see around you on the news articles that's been going out with black people killing white people just because they're white? That actually happened. Th that actually happened. And you say that uh, we're not placed in positions of power. Bro, when you say power, to me, I feel like black people have a lot of power. And I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I feel like black people have a lot of power because, bro, we get our way with everything, bro. With everything. Just think about it. Look at everything that's going on. The riots, the Black Lives Matter, everything, bro, that's been happening. Bro, we get literally everything that we want. And yet we still sit here and say, oh, we don't have power. We don't have this. We don't have that. We don't do this. We don't do that. Like, bro, what? Y'all say these things because y'all see white officers killing black people. But then at the same time, y'all not talking about the white officers that are also killing white people. Bro, officers will kill a, a black person or a white person. I'm not saying this is always the the uh, the uh, scenario. I'm not saying this is always happening. But 95% of the time that a, a white person will kill a black person, let's, let's just actually say a white officer will kill a black person because the black person done did something stupid that made the officer feel like his life was in his life was uh, threatened. Like, come on, we have to look at everything, bro. You say that we're not placed in positions of power. Like, what what more power do y'all want? The only higher power that we sh that we should be calling on is the Lord Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know what else power. Me as a human, I don't want too much power. I don't. It's not even based off my race. It's just that me as a human, I don't want too much power. I don't know what power y'all referring to. Enlighten me, please. The the whole new idea is that power plus prejudice equals racism, no. It's just denigrating someone based on the color of the skin and thinking you're better than them based on the color of skin. Because racism is just a belief that you're better than someone else because of their skin color, just because they're different than you. We constantly thought that. We thought we were better based on the color, based on the amount of melanin in our skin, 
we thought we were better. And it wasn't until I woke up that I realized that my mentality is wrong, right? And I realized that I am indeed a racial, a racial individual, a racist individual, and I need to change my ways. I think people of color can be discriminatory. I think that discrimination, you know, choosing to exclude or be biased against someone, you know, based on whatever perceptions that you have, but being able to actually like influence the power in which those people are affected, most people of color don't have that power. There aren't. Who has that power? Um, the people who have that power are the people who are seen as the majority of the people who have the most money or influence, and I would say that's white people. The fact that you can say that so bluntly and you don't understand the words that's coming out your mouth. I, I'm, look, bro, we're, nobody is better than nobody. I say this all the time, and I feel like I sound like a broken record, bro. We all live in America, bro. We all going through some type of hell, bro. Like, no, I'm not better than this white person. This white person not better than me. Just because this white person may have some money and things like that, that doesn't mean that I can't receive or get or get the money that they have. I'm just not working as hard as they are. That's all that matters. That is what, that is what it um, all comes down to. If you see this person with all this money and you poor, you're going to continue to blame it on oh, the government, this and the government, that, this and that. Oh, this has always been black people uh, history and we always been poor like this. No, just because you're not working as hard as these people. Nothing is given to you in life. Nothing. For crying out loud, respect is not even given. It's earned. So literally nothing is just handed to you. Nobody's going to hand you a thousand dollars, a million dollars. No, if you're not working hard to get this money, then guess what? You're going to be in the same predicament you was in back then. Like you're going to continue to be in your same position if you're not even working hard. You got to work hard, bro. That's all what it comes down to. Can you like give me like a person that comes to mind? Donald Trump. A person who has had access to money and affluence his entire life and has allowed his affluence and his money and his access to allow him to actively choose to say things like you can grab a woman by her pussy or that Mexicans should be sent back across the border simply because they're Mexican. Who do you think is racist then? White people. <laughs> I hate that it's that way. Didn't ask for it to be that way, but you know, just can't ignore it. Oh, you're a white man, so your opinion doesn't matter. And it's like, okay, well, that seems unbelievably racist to me. Anybody could be racist, right? Except for me. I'm the least racist person that you've ever met, okay? And we do so well with the African Americans, if you look at it. Unbelievable. What are you? You look like Samoan or something. Do you think people of color can be racist? Yeah. Why is that? Um, reparations. You think we should? They should pay reparations for slavery? Yeah. I would love some money from the government. Why? Because slavery was terrible, you know. So why not? I get money for being like Native American, and so they get reparations for that. So why not for slavery? How does that work? Um, I'm part of and like my tribe, so we get. Um, I think the deal was they took the land, and then we get like I don't know money from like oil or something. So I get money from that. First of all. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is America. I can't believe this is the country we're living in, bro. I can't believe the way that these people think. Is my camera blurry? Is it blurry, guys? I don't know. There we go. I think that's better. But uh, I can't believe this is America. This is America, y'all. The, the, the responses that these people gave is ridiculous. Let's, let's go off the last response about the whole reparations. Why do you feel like we deserve reparations for something that we didn't even go through? Huh? Make it make sense. That, why, do, why do I need reparations for something I don't I didn't even go through? I didn't go through slavery. I didn't go through slavery. So why do I need reparations? And bro, this mentality that black people have with black people can't be racist, bro. That is like, that mentality is so wrong. It is so wrong. And every aspect it's so wrong the fact that y'all feel like oh the systematic and this and that and that like no bro racism has one definition if you judge a person because of the color of their skin so if you're judging me because i'm black you're a racist if i'm judging you because you're white i'm racist like 
I'm just, bro, it's like, this shouldn't even be a conversation. This shouldn't even be a topic. We should not have to go into the streets and ask people these type of dumb questions. Like, yes, this was a literal dumb question. I know I asked it before, but I asked it because I seen the video like this, and I wanted to know y'all opinion on this topic. But, bro, this is ridiculous. I don't think these should even be questions to be asked in America, but it has to be asked because people need some type of common sense. And the people that ask these questions, instead of asking them, I feel like we should give them some knowledge on why their statement or why their mentality is wrong but at the end of the day bro i'm not mad at man uh man versus street you know what i'm saying i love their channel bro continue doing what y'all doing but bro stop going around saying that black people can't be racist and i'm not saying i'm not talking about man versus street but i'm talking about the people stop going to stop saying that black people can't be racist because they can they can you heard what the uh the, the big buff guy said you heard what he said already like, that mentality is so wrong to have, but a lot of people are going to continue to use slavery, segregation as their excuse as black people, and that is bad. As a black person, I can't continue to put, I can't continue to bring myself down, yet bring my own race down. I can't continue to bring my own race down saying, well, black people, we don't have enough power. We don't do this. We don't. Like I said, how much power do you want? The, the, real, the only person that have true power is God. That, like, I don't know how much power you want as a human. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. Because me personally, I, I feel like I could be racist towards white people. I'm not, but I feel like I can. Because if I judge them because of the color of their skin, that's me being racist. Don't just say, oh, well, we could be prejudiced. Huh? Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. It's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. Yes. Black people, color people can definitely be 100% racist. Yes, they can. I love y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.